Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ray from MyProImpair.com and today is uh, Wednesday, June 1st, 2011 and uh, you may remember that recently we did a video with some asking for some suggestions on um, the ROM to put on our Captivate as far as something that will work with uh, Google Music or the Google Music Beta and also with Netflix. Uh, we had a few suggestions but uh, we kept looking around and researching and looking on XDA and looking at the different ROMs that are out there and one of the ones that we mentioned in the last video that we hadn't tried was we hadn't tried uh, Cyanogen Mod uh, because I'd heard some mixed reviews about it and also I heard it was in beta uh, but a uh, few people said they had tried it and it's actually pretty stable so I decided to go ahead and uh, get the Cyanogen Mod uh, I used the went ahead and got the Speedmon kernel for the i97 the KC uh, pardon me K13C uh, is what we were using and then we went ahead and got the latest uh, nightly release of uh, Cyanogen Mod which was on 5 uh, 2011 so a few days ago, about a week ago. And we decided to go ahead and use Odin, and we flashed back to stock JF6, and then when we went back to stock JF6, uh, my device already had the three button fix, so I was able to go into recovery mode. So I went ahead and uh, rooted the device, and I went ahead and loaded um, the uh, ROM, or the zip, onto my SD card. Uh, and then once I did that, and once we had the kernel loaded with uh, Odin, uh, we went ahead and rebooted into recovery, and then we flashed the uh, ROM from the zip from the SD card, and that installed fine. And the finished product is what you're looking at here. Uh, now, one thing that I would like to mention is that uh, when you look on the form on XDA, you, a lot of people don't like to read through it. Make sure you read through it because uh, Sanjin Mod uh, was told by Google not to put any Google apps in their ROM that they needed to remove it. So whenever you install Cyanogen Mod, it's not going to have any Google apps. So what you're going to have to do is s search on XDA for uh, G apps zip, and you're going to want to put that onto your SD card as well. And then you want to install that from the zip in recovery mode as well, so that way you get all your uh, all your Google apps. Um, I mean, you'll see books, um, car home. Uh, what else on here? Goggles, Google Search, um, the maps had to be added on there, music, uh, email, and the biggest thing, the market was gone. So a lot of those were not on there, so you're going to want to make sure that you install that. So anyways, once we got uh, Sanjin Mod put on here, um, and I'll show you real quick. Oops. You can see it's... Uh, 2.3.4, the model number i897, baseband version, and the kernel version. Sanjin mod, and you can see there 5.25, um, 2.11. So, uh, what I can say is this ROM is, as far as from my testing so far, is very stable. I know that it, they still consider it beta, uh, but it's very stable. The battery on it is pretty good. It had a full charge, as you can see right there. I was listening to music all day, and I was also streaming Netflix, which is something interesting that I wanted to, to mention to you guys. Um, but first, we'll take a look at the music. So, like I said in the last video, I have my Google Music Beta. And basically, what I noticed is that even though I had this in there, I couldn't get my songs or my playlist to come up. I couldn't figure it out. I was like, why wouldn't it come up? And I would hit menu and the only thing it would show was was shuffle and search. Well what I had to do is I had to go into menu settings and then manage applications on on this uh Sanjin mod it has a shortcut. Um, and then once I went into all my applications I found the music one I hit clear data and then after I cleared data and closed it I rebooted my Android device I went back into music when I went into music and I pressed menu I then had an option for uh, as you can see here library options and settings so I hit settings and here you can see right here, I'm going to put my finger on it because I don't want you to see my information. But basically it says Google account. You could tap on it and then once you tap on it, it lets you select your Gmail account. 
that's set up for the beta, and then once you do that, it then imports all your songs, and then you can go ahead and, I mean, you can listen to them. I'll go ahead and. Well, it's actually kind of quiet. Let me turn that up so you can hear it here. Sorry for the odd mix of music here. I really haven't put together a playlist. I just kind of download all the music from my computer, but I haven't created really any playlist. It works fairly quickly. But uh, like I said, that's how I was able to get the uh, Google Music working on here. Um, so like I said, I tried to do that on... Uh, a few of the other ROMs that were on uh, Gingerbread, like a GR12 and Continuum, um, but they really didn't work out very well. So I decided to go back to Firefly, and then I went from Firefly to Serendipity, and those worked with Google Music. But uh, I really wanted to get Gingerbread because I really wanted Netflix, which brings us to the next topic, ne Netflix. So... Everybody knows that there's three different versions out there. There's the official version, if your device supports it, you can download from the market. And then there's one version that basically disables the device check, so that way it won't check what device you have. And there's another version you could get if your device keeps crashing. So if you get a white screen or it crashes, you can try that. Well, on this one, um, I had the um, one where the device kept crashing, because previously on Firefly, on that ROM, it kept crashing. So... Uh, the farthest I was able to get it on that, as you saw in the last video, is I was able to get into my queue, but I wasn't able to actually play anything. So that one was still in here. I reinstalled it, and as soon as I re tried to reinstall it, and I tried to play Netflix, it gave me a message saying that an update was available, and I needed to update. So I was like, okay, well, that's a little strange. I tried to update it, and the update was unsuccessful. It didn't work. So I went ahead and went into manage my applications. I uninstalled it. And then I went back into the market, and what was really strange is that it actually came up. Normally, on the other ROMs that I was using when I would go into the market and search for Netflix, because my device didn't support it, it wouldn't come up. When I went into the market here, there it is. You can see it right there. And it says it's installed. So I actually have the official Netflix app from the Android market on here and it does work it's taking a little while to load it's probably because my connection isn't the greatest We'll go ahead and tap on resume to look at the last uh, movie that I was looking at, which is basically a military channel uh, series uh, called uh, Special Ops. And you may remember before I used to get that arrow, uh, I think it was 1005. And there you go. Like I said, it's clearly working. Um, I can't really explain it. All I know is that once I installed uh, Sanjimon and I went into the market, it came up, I installed it, and it works perfectly fine. So I have all of my... I used Titanium Backup to restore all of my missing apps. That all came up fine. Everything is working fine. 
I haven't had any issues whatsoever with this ROM. I think the only thing I may have noticed once was that when I was tapping the keys on the bottom, that they weren't really responding. When I was uh, trying to hit the back and the home and all that, uh, they weren't really responding. But that just seemed to be maybe me not touching correctly or maybe touching more than one. But like I said, that's it. So if you're in my boat and you're looking for a uh, gingerbread ROM that will work with uh, your Google Music Beta and also work with Netflix, Signage and Mod is what you're looking for. So uh, I would definitely go ahead and hit up XDA and check that out and uh, donate to their cause. Um, and also uh, want to go ahead and thank very much uh, Josh over at Mobile Tech Videos because he has an excellent... Uh, walkthrough on how to get um, Synogen Mod 7 on your Captivate so um, I'll go ahead and see if I can uh, link uh, this over to his channel so that we could check out the video there but uh, this is just a follow-up to show you that we were able to get done what we were looking for and it was right in front of us the whole time but because we just didn't want to try it because it was in beta uh, we weren't able to get to this sooner so thank you very much everybody for your comments and for your support um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely uh, hit us up on a message or hit us up on our website, www.iponerepair.com.